Hello friends, in this video we will see what is combination. In the previous video we have seen what is permutation. So in this video we will see what is combinations. So combination is uh, sometimes can also be used or uh, selection. Okay. Combination sometimes can also be called as selection. So combination is all about combination is all about selecting R item. Selecting R items out of N items. Selecting R items out of N items. So combination is all about selection of R items out of N items. For example, we have three items X, Y, Z. So out of which we have to select two items. Okay, we out of which we have to select two items. Okay, so the two items may be X, Y, or Y, Z. Or Zx, okay, xy or yz or zx. So here the order is not important, okay. But when it comes to the permutations, the order is very important. So in permutations, xy and yx are different. But in permit, uh, but in combination, xy and yx are both are same, both are same, because the order is very important in permutations. But the order is not very important in the combination. I mean the order is not considered here. Okay, so the selection, selecting two items out of x, y, z is the possibilities are x, y, y, z, and z, x. So in the same manner, selecting three items out of x, y, z, selecting three items out of x, y, z is only one uh, one uh, way is possible. That is x, y, z. Okay, so combinations is all about selecting r items out of n items at a given time. If there are three items are there, x, y, z, and out of which we want to select two items, so the possible selections may be x, y, y, z, and z, x. So in the same manner, if we have three items x, y, z, and we want to select three items at a time, so then the possible selection is x, y, z. Okay. So when it comes to the combination, x, y, and y, x are the same because the order is not important in which they are selecting. Okay. But in permutations. This order is very important, and order is considered. X, Y, and Y, X are different in the permutation. Okay, this is one. So, the num suppose out of n items, and we are selecting R items, and the selection of R items out of n items is uh, represented as N C R. Is represented as N C R. So, the value of N C R is equivalent to n factorial by n minus R factorial. Into R factorial, so this is the NCR value. Okay, NCR. So that means selecting R items out of n items at a time, the value is going to be equal to the n factorial by n minus R factorial into R factorial. Okay. So for example, we will check these two. So out of three three variables in this, n is equal three, and we are selecting two at a time. So that is R value is equal two. So that is going to be n. I mean three C two. Okay, that is going to be 3c2. So that is 3 factorial by 3 minus 2. So that is 1 factorial into r factorial. So that is 2 factorial. So that is 3 into 2 into 1 by 1 into 2 into 1. So 2 to cancel and we will get 3. Okay. So 3 selections are there. So the three possible selections are what x, y, y, z, z. Okay. So we will check for this one. So here in this case the n is 3. And the R value is also three because we are selecting three uh, items out of these three items at a time. So the three C three is equal to so that is three factorial by so three minus three factorial and minus R factorial into three factorial. So three factorial three factorial cancel. So one by three minus three is zero factorial. As we know, zero factorial is equal to one. So one by one is equal to one. So there is only one possibility selecting three. Items out of these three items, so that is x, y, z possible. Okay, so uh, this is what about the combinations. And uh, whenever we calculate this combination, there are certain properties are there. So n c one. So whenever we are selecting n items out of n items, so the value is going to be one. Okay, the value is going to be one. So whenever we are selecting zero. Items out of n items, so the possible selection is one. N C zero is equal one. Okay, so.
so whenever we are selecting n items out of n items so that is possibility selection is 1 so whenever you are selecting 0 out of n item the possible selection is also 1 ok so and one more thing is there one one more property is there that ncr is going to be equal to always nc n minus r so ncr is always going to be equal to the nc n minus r ok so ncr is always going to be equal to the ncr for example if you see so that is 3c1 is equivalent to 3c2 also because 3 minus 1 is 2 so 3c1 is equivalent to 3c2 if you calculate the values so these two are going to be equal these three are going to be equal and moreover uh, the sum of all these values is going to be nc0 and nc1 plus nc2 so on so on so on plus ncn is equivalent to 2 to the power of n is equivalent to the value of 2 to the power of n so is equivalent to the value of the 2 to the power of 1 ok so the selecting r items out of n items is going to be equal to the n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial when we are selecting n items out of n the number of uh, selections are 1 so when you are selecting 0 items out of n items the number of possible selections are 1 so ncr is equal to nc n minus r so these values are whenever we calculate these values these values are going to be equal for example 3c1 is equal to 3c2 so if you calculate the values of 3c1 and 3c2 so the value is going to be same so one more property is that nc0 plus nc1 plus nc2 plus so on so on ncn is going to be equal to the 2 to the power of n so i hope you got this one uh, thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel